Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. In today's video, we're gonna create a cool tone glam makeup look, which is gonna be beautiful for a special occasion or even for like a bridal makeup, this will look so beautiful. So in this video, I'm gonna take you along step by step. I'm gonna teach you how to create this. Now, I hope you guys like it. I know I'm like a kind of like a warm tone girl. I create a lot of warm tone looks but I also really love cool tone looks. So let me know if you are more into cool tones or warm tones. This way I know what kind of videos you guys prefer. Now the first shade I went in with is Sand Dollar, which is by Makeup Geek. At first when I was blending this in my crease, I didn't really see the eyeshadow. I just continued to blend and I did notice a difference eventually, but I had to go in a few times with this color. It created kind of like a soft shadow effect, but nothing too crazy. So the next I'm gonna go in with this color, which has kind of the same undertone, but it's just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna blend this all in my crease, going from the inner cor corner to the outer corner. Also kind of making circular motions at the outer part of my eyelid because I kind of want to create more of a round shape. I'm not going to go in with a wing liner or anything. So I also want to make sure that I have eyeshadow blended in this area. So I just go in a few times with the same eyeshadow and I just continue to blend. Also, good news, if you have been following more of my videos, you know that I have been struggling with eczema. And currently my eczema on my eyelid is gone. I don't know how this is possible and I really hope it's gonna stay this way. But oh my God, this was the first time filming with no eczema and it just made me so happy. So I'm just gonna pray that it stays this way, but I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes, but I'm just really happy. So now I'm gonna go in with the color Concrete Jungle. What you just saw me doing, I went in with a white color and just blended a little bit of that underneath the brow bone to highlight. And now I'm going in with this shade, which has, again, kind of like the same undertone. It's just kind of like a cool tone, ashy shade, but a little bit darker than the previous color. And with this color, I'm gonna focus mainly like at the outer part of the eyelid, making circular motions. And then with whatever's left on my brush, I blend it a little bit more towards my crease. Then I'm gonna go in with this super light, kind of like highlighting shade. This one is Shroom by MAC Cosmetics. One of the first eyeshadows I've ever purchased from MAC. It's super pretty. I don't know if they still sell it, but you can also use like a super light highlighter that you have at home. Then I'm gonna go in with the color High Wire, again by Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna use my finger to apply this all over my eyelid. You can also use like a silvery eyeshadow, which has a metallic finish. I'm sure some of y'all have something similar in a palette. Um, I feel like this one is kind of like a blue silver. It has kind of like a, maybe even like a purple undertone. It's not like straight up silver, but a straight up silver will look super pretty as well. So now I'm gonna go in back in with that brown color that I used at the end to darken up my outer V. And now I'm gonna blend a little bit of that along the lash line. So just blending my brush back and forth along the lash line and then blending it towards my outer V where I did already apply that eyeshadow. So now it's kind of blending nicely into each other. I also dip my brush in a little bit black eyeshadow just to make it a little bit darker. So you can just use a simple black matte eyeshadow. So that how it, that's how it was looking so far. So now we're gonna focus on the lower lashes. Off camera, I quickly applied my foundation and concealer and then I went in with that same color again and blended this all the way underneath the lower lash line. First I pressed the eyeshadow and then I focused on blending it out. I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes, but it looks kind of like I'm possessed or something. <laughs> so now I'm going in with more of a white eyeshadow and blending that in my inner corner to brighten things up. And then I went in with this pencil from NYX Cosmetics, which is one of their metallic eye pencils in the color silver and using this for in my waterline. Now, I feel like it didn't stay perfect in my waterline all day because I was wearing this eye look all day after filming this. Um, I would prefer like a matte cool tone pencil, but I honestly don't have it. I really have to buy some because I have lots of colors. I have warm tones, but I don't really have like light grayish shades for the waterline. So I'm gonna have to buy them. But this does look super pretty, but I just noticed during the day that it didn't stay as perfect as I wanted it to be. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara, which is the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Mascara. If you're wondering what all the exact shades that I used are, I will link everything down 
in my description so if you want to know anything or you want to purchase i will link everything down below so i'm just going to continue with my mascara you can either leave it like this and only apply mascara or you can go in with false lashes at the end i will show you how it looked with the lashes and without so you can kind of see how it looks with and without lashes let me know what you prefer i think lashes always make everything look more pretty but i know some of y'all might not like lashes um, so I definitely wanted to show you guys how it looks with and without but I'm using these lashes which are not too dramatic because sometimes you know when you use really dramatic lashes it can be, it can be super pretty but sometimes it covers kind of up the eyeshadow you cannot really see the eyeshadow on the eyelid anymore so I kind of went for those wispy lashes that are a little bit thicker at the downside and then the longer they get the more thinner they are so you can still see like the eyeshadow like peeking through the fake lashes so here's the end result with only mascara and on here you can see with the lashes on now let me know what your favorite is is this something you would wear i would love to hear your opinion and what your favorite type of eye look is are you team cool tone or warm tone or are you like team both do you like both let me know i'm really curious to know and yeah, I just hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up. Can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe.